Hey there, Mountaineers. Today we're reviewing Loot Box Life Plus, and it was uh, developed by Conradical Games, and it was published by Radaleka. So you know what that means. Easy achievements. Uh, this one, not so much. You may have to earn these ones. Uh, this isn't one of the super easy achievement games. This is a platform game, sort of like uh, a Metroidvania, they usually call these, where uh, you collect loot boxes when you're this little ball, you can see right now, you can now move, like, you can't even move until you uh, unlock that skill in a loot box. So, you're basically looking for loot boxes to learn new skills. Uh, there's 11 different areas to uh, learn. Like, you have, like, a skill where you can jump uh, higher. You'll have skills where you can wall climb, sort of like in uh, Ninja Gaiden. Uh, you know, you just keep learning new skills to help you get through 11 different areas. This might actually be one of Red Alaka's better games that they've uh, published, in my opinion. Uh, it, it's it's an original idea, you know. Uh, uh, the concept, uh, you know, is just uh, something really original and fun. You know, I didn't expect it to be this when I saw it. And uh, it, it, usually their games have super easy achievements. These achievements are easy to get, but the game can be rather difficult. It does... Maybe it's just me that's uh, not really good at it, uh, but because uh, there is a speedrun mode, so you must be able to beat this fairly quickly. So maybe it was just me, but it took me a while to get used to, you know, some some of the parts in this game. I got stuck a lot. I see here's a you even get a world map in a loot box. So pretty much everything, you know, that you need to advance in this game. You have to use, you know, a skill you find in a loot box. Like right here is a double jump, and like, see, all the, this it, it isn't a simple game. Uh, I think if you were really good at stuff like this, or maybe you're experienced with this, you could uh, get it really quick. But I think for the first time you play it, you're going to struggle a bit. That's why I think it's going to be rather difficult achievements. But I think it's so much fun that you're not going to care to uh actually put a little work in and earn them like if you like challenging games I, I really see you enjoying this uh but like i said it's definitely not simple and it's definitely going to uh you know give you some some struggles sometimes i made that right there look easy in this clip but that is actually a really really hard jump to make i struggled up with it a few times I, I did not make that jump on the first go and it's, I, I just think it's going to be like that for a lot of people. It's going to, you know, make you work and make you earn them. Right there is a checkpoint. You see the little poles that pop out of the ground. When you get to those, if you die, then you can, uh, you'll know, you'll just pick up from there uh, after your death. And it, it's, they're, they're not real far apart, you know. So, like, it may be hard, but it's one of those games that, you know, if you put the time in, you're going to get to the next checkpoint fairly easy and you're going to be able to get past it sometimes see like right there is the next one i showed you two in one little clip so in a 30 second clip so you're definitely going to struggle with this one a little bit but it's definitely one that you're going to want to stick around and see how you do uh and see how and just complete it so uh definitely check this one out i'd love to hear people's thoughts you know, to me this is like uh one of red like his best and I know people love uh, these easy achievement rather lucky games. So I wonder how they felt when these really, really good ones like this one pop up. And you actually have to earn the achievements. And uh, you know you actually get a fairly decent game for that $5 that you're paying. A lot of times uh, these games are one and dones. To, to me, this one isn't. This is one I can see you playing over. Especially speedrunners. I can see this getting played multiple times and that and that's cool i like when you get games like that from red lake because it's not usually when i do the reviews i'm saying it's a one and done you play it once get the achievements and you don't play it anymore this one i can see you uh investing some time into i can see you playing it several times trying to get that uh world record get on that leaderboard so uh yeah let me know what you think see let me know if you're if you uh enjoyed it as much as i did this one's going to get a really really good score for me for a red lucky game i think i gave this one a 7.8 I, I really liked a lot of things about it the music the challenge the character just the concept everything was really new and original and fun so i definitely recommend this one for the price definitely uh 
a must grab from Radaleka. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for support. And as always, I'll see you in the leaderboards.